I'm back again. Just came back from AutoZone with a bunch of parts. Got myself some fuel injector oil rings, fuel pressure regulator, some Vaseline oil and that Fram filter. This is a gasket for in a box, really big box for a small bag. Part number is right here. And I got myself a fuel pressure regulator. This is the last one they had. GP Sorison fuel pressure regulator. So here it is, right there. Here's the new one. Here's the old one. Pretty different. Come on. Also came with some fasteners. Came with a clip or a snap ring like this one right here so I'm gonna install those got the new old rings on it already I'm gonna install everything back in the fuel rail I'll let you know what happens and I'll be right back all right tours I'm back um I got the new fuel pressure regulator on all the injectors on this came with this clip. I didn't know why at first, but then, you know, the snap ring wouldn't fit on it because it's as far as down as it goes. So I guess this is why they provided both of them in case it didn't, this didn't fit. So this is now on it, holding it down. I got both shoe lines on. Got the injectors on there. I don't have them plugged in because I don't want them um, I'm gonna test the pressure and I'm gonna turn it over, but I don't want it to start. So, see what happens. You know, all I have to do is now is put in that 10 millimeter bolt right here, there, and two more on the side, and hook up all the wires. And I'll let you guys know what happens in the next part. Hey, YouTubers. Well, I got her started. So, I got her started for like a couple seconds. Um, to change the oil, I had to leave the filter off because the mechanics decided to monkey wrench the thing extremely tight. So, I made the oil come out the thing. Got oil everywhere, but it all came out. This is oil and gas. It started for a few seconds, but it took me like cranking and cranking and cranking and cranking and popping and cranking and I finally got her going so I'm gonna give her a jump get her started again because I put some oil on it with a new filter all right so it's gonna be the second startup but official startup if it starts so wish me luck Start it. Running really bad though. And it has a big tick. Don't know why. Far. I think we may have a blown head gasket. This is chooching like there's no tomorrow. Holy crap. Wow. Holy crap, guys. I think we got a blown head gasket now. Or something. Something's wrong. Well, I gotta go, guys. See what's wrong with it.
Well, tubers, bad, bad news. Seems like when the car hydro locked on that number two cylinder, it seemed like it broke the head gasket on it. And there's a little bit of valve tap, but it's gone away. A lot of white smoke coming out from it, but it's going away. I want to see what happens. I give you an update on what's going on. Howdy, tubers. And uh, this is what's up. I'm back again. As you can see, no smoke. And if we go over here, ticking is gone. Just a normal lifter. It must have been lack of oil in the lifters because of the gas that was in it. Um, I got that C clip in. So now gas is not spraying everywhere like crazy. It's running really nice. I had to get the firing order correct and everything. And this is what's going on inside the cabin. We are having 40 pressure for once. It's actually running. I wish my camera would focus for you guys. I'm sorry. It's actually running on the line E. It's never done that before. It will always usually die around there back then and now it's running real smooth on 1000 used to be around 500 it ships easier neutral and drive so and it's about 200 degrees So, as of so far, the car is now fixed. And tubers, I apologize for um this really quick and random video because I was, I mean, not random, but not very professional video. I was trying to get this car up and going for my mother, and it was getting dark. So, that is this last update on it. And I'll see you guys later after a couple days of me editing this video and then putting it up. Like, comment, subscribe.